checking with Santa, and it looks like you're all on his good list. So thanks for sticking with us for more Explore Tulsa. Our next guest even played one of Santa's helpful elves on a shelf for a local TV commercial for us. And now we catch up to Annie as she stops by Blue House Media to tell us about her love for jazz and what we can look forward to from the fabulous woman with many talents. It feels like um, I'm in the right place. It feels like I'm I'm realizing my dreams. What was it like growing up in my house? Um, my dad uh, is a bass player, a professional musician. I, I moved into a house with a piano when I was seven years old and I played around on that a lot and I lived across the street from two girls who took piano lessons. So I got to listen to them practicing and they would like practice the left hand uh, over and over again like four bars of the left hand and then they'd do the right hand over and over again just four bars you know and then this and then that and then they'd start playing them together and they'd start putting different things together and um, I think I learned to compose that way. I was listening to KBEZ when I was like a tween and I was really into Delilah um, and right after Delilah, Big Band Saturday Night came on, on Saturdays. So I became acquainted with big band music by accident, just by the rollover that happened after Delilah, and I just immediately fell in love with it. I don't know why, it just was in my bones, I suppose. I've just had really, really positive feedback everywhere I've gone. There are definitely different styles of jazz in different um, parts of the country. And I do enjoy going and slipping into those different sort of subgenres of jazz, um, playing around with them. So I'm headed to uh, Meow Wolf in Santa Fe in about a week. And if, uh, if you're not familiar with Meow Wolf, you should definitely Google that. It's an amazing giant art installation in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. And they often have musical acts come and play throughout the installation. So I'll be there uh, performing what we're calling Dada duets with Annie Ellicott. And um, Dada is um, referencing Dadaism, which was an artistic movement that rose up in, I believe, Zurich at the turn of the 20th century. And it's um, heavily rooted in nonsense. So I've been having a very good time uh, making costumes for my Dada duets this last couple of weeks. Well, I like wearing costumes for the same reason I like to sing with different uh, musical groups because it just brings out another aspect of my personality. I actually just did uh, some voiceover work in Kansas City um, for a couple of audiobooks that will be released on Audible. Um, the Last Warrior of Unagaya and Dungeon Lord. It's gamer fantasy, so it's incredibly fun. Yeah, I actually got to play several characters. See, <clears throat> the sp Amphorus, the Spider Queen, is my favorite, so let's see. Dungeon Lord, come back! It's not polite to leave a queen hungry. Oh man, I, I'd like to keep traveling. I'd like to travel even further. Um, I'd like to go to Europe. I'd like to play my original music um, more because a lot of the stuff I've done um, traveling so far has been jazz standards and long form improvisation. So I'd like to go show all of my original songs to everybody. I want them to walk away having 
felt like they had a true emotional experience and emotional connection with another person and with a group, with the group um, that they were in.